What's going on guys? Coach Davino here. And you ever wonder how to get your pop time faster? There's a lot of things that go involved in getting that pop time a lot faster besides having a strong arm, quick feet, and you have to make sure that transfer is quick and clean as possible. So I have a few drills that you could do to clean up that transfer, make it faster, help your footwork get faster, and you increase your pop time. So the first one, we're gonna have the catcher stationary on both knees okay he's not going to catch like that in the game but we're just isolating the hands and we want to work on catching the ball clean transferring out in front and having a three-quarter glove turn so when he catches it here he's going to catch it out front holding a flex he doesn't want to go out and get it where he's going to hyper extend and overextend his elbow and now it's going to take longer to come back to transfer so he's going to keep a flex right here elbow bent a little bit He's going to catch with his thumb slightly down the pocket to the ball. Once he catches, we're not going to roll down and transfer, or we're not going to come straight back and transfer, because now look where the glove is. It's facing that way, and he has to go in there and get the ball. So what he wants to do is he's going to catch it here, and his thumb down to thumb up, okay? He wants to feed his hand. So when he catches it, thumb down, thumb up, and now his throwing hand is going to go get the ball. So when it's here... He's going to go get it with his fingers like this and have a good grip. And he's going to pull back like he's pulling a rubber band or a bow and arrow. So we like to do this uh, when we're doing our transfers to uh, warm up. We're going to catch it here and we're going to transfer. So all he's working on is catching the ball clean and getting his hand clean and pulling back. Okay, the second uh, drill, he's going to stay on his knees as well, okay? We're sideways because we want to show the catcher where he's transferring, okay? Where you see where the W is, the Wilson sign, we want to make sure that is the center line. So his glove never travels behind that center line. So when he's in this position, he's going to let the ball travel. You do the same thing, three-quarter turn up, feed his hand, and then pull back here. So he never allows the glove to travel all the way back here and take longer. And now we're stuck in this position. And now we have to rush it and we don't have a good throw. So in this drill, we're just going to work on keeping that flex still. We're catching it here, three-quarter up, feed the hand, and he's going to pull back. Okay, for our third drill, we're going to incorporate our feet into this, okay? So our catcher is going to be standing. You're going to stay standing the whole time, okay? He's going to bend his knees a little bit, be in an athletic position. And what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing, so incorporate our other two drills. Catch the ball here, three-quarter turn, pull back, everything's out in front. But before all that, he wants to have a slight turn inwards. He's going to track the ball with his left knee, okay? This way, when he's here already and he catches it a little bit on his side already, now when his foot goes forward, we're a lot quicker, okay? Than being in a stationary position, squared up like in your primary, catch the ball, then go here and throw. This way he's creating momentum, okay? And he's gonna catch it on the side and then he's gonna have a quicker release. So he doesn't want to kick all the way out this way so now he ends up on this side of the plate so he wants to stay tight track a little bit and then his right foot is going to be a short step going forward he doesn't want a long step and jump out to it he wants a short step get to here and have a good throwing position Okay, our fourth drill is going to be a shuffle drill, okay? We're still emphasizing uh, what we did in our first two drills, our catch it in front, be quick, have clean transfer. But now he's working our feet work to the bag, okay? We're not going to shuffle to the bag when we're throwing to second base, but we're just working on getting our feet quicker and having uh, athletic quick movements towards the base that we're throwing to.
We're going to take about five to six balls. We do at a time. Okay. When he shuffles, he's going to catch, clean, transfer, shuffle, and then he's going to drop the ball and he's going to come back fast. So it will look like here. So we're going to catch, boom, drop it, come back, be quick. We're just uh, changing our feet in the position that we are going forward towards second base. All right, guys, that's my four transfer and footwork drills. If you do these drills often, it will help with your pop time and it'll get your pop time a lot lower. If you're in the high twos, you wanna make sure that you're around 2.0. And by doing these and incorporating these drills into your catching routine, it will really improve your game tremendously behind the plate. Hope you like this video. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Stay up to date with all content coming out baseball related. Till next time.